Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a quick look at the killer baby bee from Birdseye. So let's start by having a look at some of the parts that I got with this quad. This plate is made of a 3K twill carbon. As you can see it's a very high quality. The ESCs that I'm using on this build are the DYS BL Heli 20 amp. The top plate is also made of a 3K carbon but this time at 1.5mm. Here's the power distribution board with spaces for two Polo Loop step down converters. The motors are the DYS BE1306. These are clockwise and counterclockwise motors and are 3100 kV. Birdseye supplied this very small micro camera. As you can see, it's smaller than my finger. It also came with a 3D printed bracket in my favourite colour. Here's how it looked by the time I'd finished building it. Now I'm not known for my neat builds and this is a very small machine so there's a lot of wires to cram inside here. The VTX that you can see on the side is the Aonway 200mW 32 channel. The props that I'm using are the Gemfan 4045. The flight controller is just a normal Naze Acro. As you can see the camera is well protected inside the frame. You may notice that the flight controller doesn't have all its standoffs on. That's simply because I ran out of them. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm using a circular wireless antenna mainly because of its low profile but also because of its superior performance. If I was to rebuild this again I would certainly work better on my cable management. As you can see it's a little scruffy. The receiver that I'm using is the FRSky TFR8SB, SB standing for SBUS. I've taken it out of its plastic casing so I can squeeze it in between the flight controller and the power distribution board. Because this is SBUS I also used a CPPN converter which you can see crammed inside. The ESCs fit on the arm underneath the prop giving it sufficient cooling. To give you some idea of size, here it is up against my Fat Shark Dominator V2s. Here you can see the protective orange feet to protect the bottom plate. Without the battery it weighs in at 207.4 grams. With a free cell 1000 milliamp, it weighs in at 304.5 grams. So let's take it for its first test flight. So this is my first time flying the Killer Baby V, and as you can hear, it still needs some tuning. The yaw rate was also set to zero, so that needed to be brought up. What you're seeing there is a full yaw turn. Off camera I've done a little bit of tuning, and now it flies amazing. The plan is to flash these ESCs with a new firmware, then I can run Boris B's latest firmware on the Naze 32 flight controller. Everyone said so far that Boris's firmware is fantastic, so that will be my next step in part 2. So that's it for the Baby Bee Introduction Part 1 video. Stay tuned for Part 2 when we take this outside and put it through its paces. For more information and where to buy, click on the links below. Do me a favour and open this please. I'll let you have a look at it if you just open it up for me, please. No! I'll let you use your gun.